One disease that attacks on the lower part of the leaf, the under part of the leaf, the stem of the plant, the flowers, and a disease that attacks the fruits. Diseases are the biggest enemy when it comes to capsicum farming. Or not just the biggest, among the biggest enemies, because they are the enemies. They are less pest, they are less nutritional, they are less drought. Uh, but in our class today, or in our topic today, I want us to discuss about diseases. And um, which diseases and how do you identify the diseases that attacks your green capsicum or later the greenhouse capsicum or the color capsicum, which, whichever type of, of capsicum you are doing. So uh, we have one disease that attacks on the lower part of the leaf, another disease that attacks on the under part of the leaf, and disease that attacks uh, the stem of the plant, a disease that attacks the, um, the flowers, and a disease that attacks the fruits. So those are different types of diseases. But I usually consider the worst of the worst of all diseases is a disease, one, a disease that eats from below, a disease that makes the crop to wither. In your farm, before you start capsicum farming, I usually encourage all uh, experts usually encourage um, for soil analysis. This is to detect whether there is a soil borne diseases that may eat the crop from below or from the soil, and that's also a very dangerous disease. This, the, the soil diseases we have two we have um, a bacterial wilting and you have fusillium wilting, very dangerous disease. Uh, the, 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 the characteristics of this, you see your crop withering and dying. I may not show you at the moment these two diseases because I've not experienced them in my farm. But if I come across one, I'm going to show you. Another disease uh, is dumping off. Dumping off is seen uh, in the nursery where the, the, the stem or the, the, the point from the soil, uh, the, the, the stem that touches the soil starts rotting. And it's blotting by the cold and um, wet conditions like in my case i'm using over delegation and the seedlings may be like not not as big as they are at the moment this one cannot be attacked by dumping off when they are very young they may end up being attacked by um, the the dumping off but when they are this big now we move away from the dumping off another disease comes in which is stem rot stem rot now can attack from this stage up to when I'm going to the market. And from stem rot, we go to the worst disease, which I usually consider worst if it's not coming from the soil. Uh, the leaf disease, which is a powdery mildew and uh, downy mildew. For downy mildew, those who are asking what is downy mildew, downy mildew usually attacks the leaves. You can see the patches of the leaves either below the leaf or sometimes on the top of the leaf. But it's, it's in patches, patches, patches. And for you to, to be able to know it's, it's a powdery mildew, uh, you'll find that um, the, it's, uh, the patches occurs when the condition or the weather, the, the, the weather condition is very cold and very humid. That you experience uh, uh, downy mildew. But when it's very hot and um, it's not humid, it's very hot and very dry, we usually experience a powdery mildew. And powdery mildew usually attacks on the upper surface of the leaf. Like, for example, this leaf, it attacks, you see, a whitish, grayish substance on the upper part of the leaf. Also, for the downy mildew, you see the whitish, grayish patches of the disease. Uh, my crop is still very young, not yet attacked by the disease, but it shouldn't be attacked. Uh, so you may not see the disease uh, as per now. And also, another thing, you are, you, the, my crop is still very clean, is one, I'm doing a lot of protective, uh, uh, protective fungicide. And for the protective fungicide, it prevents the disease from attacking the, the plant. So, uh, when, when protecting the, the plant, 
you can you can do the curative and you can do the protective you can do the protective like me i'm doing the protective because of the my irrigation system which is over and i know they are very susceptible to this disease, so I run for the protective uh, rather than waiting when the disease comes and uh, attacks me, then I come controlling it. That's why the crop is still clean, the crop is still okay. So uh, that was just a review of uh, the diseases that may attack your capsicum. As we go on, I'll come now specifically with every disease, per every disease, uh, with an example of how it looks like. Uh, but for you, when you're doing your scouting, expect that and also do a preventive uh, product to prevent uh, the disease from attacking your capsicum. I'll come up also with, a, with um, the product that you may need and the product that are needed for you to be able to to control the disease and to be a better farmer. Hope you've learned something. If it is your first time that you're watching me, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also join to be a member of this YouTube channel so that we can continue learning together. Bye.